the Force Bros will be uh, will be uniting once again. One bro hates the other. It's more like Cain and Abel, I guess. But uh, yeah, Sam and I get to do this. Rebels is right around the corner. Um, we're on, going to be on Saturday nights because uh, we're a little bit more grown up this season. Um, this season goes deep. If you saw that that last teaser that they dropped with the Bendu, it's like, hey, here's learn the Force on like not 101, like your master cycle. And this season goes deep, so it's a big opportunity for Sam and I to come and show you guys the love and get you guys even more hyped up. But it'll still be awesome. It'll be Sith versus Jedi, night, blind versus sight darkness versus light and it's just for you guys so i hope y'all dig it we've been trying to pull this off for a very long time i'm really really excited i know it's not going to be just star wars i don't have any skills i mean like movie trivia or otherwise i don't really like my job doesn't require skills if i were an actor i would be dead from unemployment my my main goal is to try to dumb it down to slightly above celebrity jeopardy. If I can do that, if I can pull that off, then I then I feel like I've contributed something fantastic. Freddie Prinze Jr. is a man that I admire and like very much. I don't understand why you feel like I need to fight him. I don't know what that that's about. Sam, my fourth brother in arms, today and pretty much every day, you're my mortal enemy. You're telling me that he said that. I have no evidence that he said that. It's like you guys are trying to make us fight, like like to pow and when I'm Kirk and he's Spock, and it's like we shouldn't be fighting. Palm Far's in a tough time, and you're just messing with it. It's like we're Anakin and Obi Wan, except neither of us killed any babies. So what's the problem? Why are we fighting, Freddy? Just like Kane and Kung Fu, I have no wish to fight you, dude. I love you, man. Let's just talk it out. Today, my brother, the blind man wins. You die. You die. You die. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. One of the most anticipated matches maybe ever, Mark. Christian, the tension is as high as my blood alcohol level. And I got to tell you, we have two stars of the Star Wars galaxy. One of them will leave here a shimmering light. The other, a hot ball of gas. Well, you mentioned dark side. You got light side. You have Darth Maul versus Kanan. That's right. Sam Witwer, Darth Maul himself going up against Kanan, Freddie Prinze Jr. We got him before Rebel Season 3 even shows it, and I'm excited. Oh, man, we got famous people in the studio. It's weird that we're around people more famous and beloved than us, but it's happening today, and it's a clash of styles here, Christian, yeah. because Freddie Prince is a guy, he has his own cookbook, right. and he eats recipes strictly from that cookbook. You know what Sam Whitworth had for breakfast today? What's that? Nails. Yeah. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense, and you see it in their style just from mm -hmm. watching the pre-interviews. It's just Sam's just kind of like, whatever happen I'm not really here to fight I'm just here to win whatever it is. and Freddie Prince Jr. knows his movie trivia you saw him on my match he called my match this past Friday and he knows his stuff gonna be interesting to see which one of these competitors turns into their Star Wars Rebels character first that might indicate the outcome of this match all right let's go to the memes because you guys have been just as excited as we are the memes Ooh. have been coming in here we go Mark, as you see, it's very split. You got the Kanan fans, you got the Darth Maul fans. It's gonna be awesome. Social media, usually a pit of darkness, but not then, Christian. Nope. That really helped out. Thanks to all the fans for contributing. And without further ado, we should probably look 
at the tail of the tape. Well, there is the tail of the tape. Now you look at Sam Witwer, obviously we know that he knows Star Wars, and then there's a lot of question marks because we haven't seen the guy yet. No we're idea. Gonna, we're gonna find out today, but then with Freddie Prinze Jr., obviously 90s movies. Most of the questions will probably be his movies. And then you have a lot of other, you have Star Wars also in there and looking fresh. So there you go, Mark. That is the tale of the tape. You know, Christian, the preamble is almost done here. Will Freddie Prince Jr. remember what we did last summer? We're about to find out. Let's go to the golden throat of Christian Harloff. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. Introducing first, representing the light side. Ladies and gentlemen, we give to you the master, Freddy Prince Jr. Wow, he brought a lightsaber. Hayden Jarrett coming to play. He's got the Jedi robe. He's got the blade. He bowed to us, although you and I would be his Padawan. I absolutely think that is the case. Look at him. He just moves like a Jedi. Look at him. Sit down. He's ready to go. The, the Rebels theme playing in the background. It's a pretty incredible intro. I don't know how anybody can top that. But if somebody's going to, it's going to be the dark side. Freddie Prince Jr.'s coughing, Christian. What do we do? We introduce his opponent. <gasps> Representing the dark side. Ladies and gentlemen, with a record of zero wins, zero defeats, making his debut in the Schmodown, Sam the Warrior Whitmore! Oh, he got cut, Christian. He got nicked. How's that going to play into round one? His jaw didn't even affect him. Sam Whitworth. He's just putting on a little balm on there, it looks like. The dark side uses Nivea. I like it. Otherwise known as Star Killer. Christian, this looks like an intense match. We have blood running, we have lightsabers. These are things we have never seen in a slowdown match before. We're setting records here today. All right, Mark, so our competitors Woo! have entered the arena. I'm what ready to go. an intro, Christian. I don't think that's ever going to be topped in the history oh, of no. Schmodown. We are just about to get the match started. I will kick off by telling you, gentlemen, the rules of round one. You will each be administered six questions from six different movie categories. Each question is worth one point. There is no stealing. There is no penalty for answering a question incorrectly. No stealing. Right. Not, not, not Please remember one. that rule. Now, Freddie, you are the favorite after the poll we did with it's got to be a slight if it is. It's got to be slight. close. It's very slight, a but you were, you were the 51, favorite. 51, 49. It was close. To, it was something like that. So you, But you do get to choose. Would you like to go first or second? Ah, I will defer. No okay. advantage goes with that. All right. And Sam, would you pick from category one or category two? You mean just arbitrarily? Do I like the number one or two Correct. red? I like... Two? Two. Wrong Sitting on the answer. toilet. I like that. That's a bold choice. He went with number two. No he urinal for Sam Whitworth. Oh, oh, you yeah. ask Sam. Sam goes first. <laughs> Sam, you are going first, and you're from the category of two. Your first category is animated. Which decade saw the release of the very first Land Before Time film? Uh, that would have to be the 1980s. One point Correct. for Sam Whitworth. Well he is not messing around. All right. And now we move on to the world of comedy. Sam, what was the name of the very specialized pet store Lloyd and Harry hoped to open in Dumb and Dumber? That's close. <laughs> that was a hell of an effort, but we were looking for... Well, he's not done yet. He's still got five seconds to the answer. Five. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right, we got it. The answer was... <laughs> huh. I well, got worms. Close. No, it was just... Uh, Wait, but oh, I just said I got, that. I thought it was like mud cuts or something. Right, right, right. <laughs> and now we go to sci-fi fantasy. Sam, oh, in The Princess can... Bride... What do Miracle Max and his wife tell the gentlemen when they leave their house? Freddy seems to know. Have fun storming the castle. He's seen the movie. <laughs> Two points. Seen, seen the movie. movie. Very good, good start for Sam. Got All right, Freddie, you're up. Okay. In the category of animated, 
which Batman animated film released theatrically sees the Cape Crusader deal with the return of Bruce Wayne's mysterious ex-girlfriend, Andrea? Sam seems to know this one. What are you thinking? Jedi pose. Sucks being a Marvel guy. <laughs> <laughs> Shots Five. fired. Four. Man, Mask of the Phantasm? Correct! Oh, oh, he gets it the last second. I had to go back. Oh, no. I saw that in high school, but yeah. man, that was tough. Right. Ex-girlfriends named tough. Andrea are vicious. All right, and she and was the Phantasm, right? That was the story? Spoiler, Spoiler alert. alert. Yeah. Sorry, I wrecked the movie 35 years ago. In the category of comedy, Freddie, what 1979 comedy features the dim-witted Navin who grows up with an adopted family in Mississippi? The jerk. Correct. Freddy. Well Steve right. Martin for life. All right, Freddy in sci fi. By the way, when he says don't drink haterade in that movie he did with Queen Latifah, I gave him that line. For real. Yeah. True story. Uh, Boom. Steve Martin. <laughs> Go ahead. In the category of sci fi fantasy, who directed the gritty 2009 sci fi thriller District 9? Oh, it's. Uh... I'm going to say. Peter Jackson. It's not oh, right. he produced it. We were looking for Neil Bloomkamp. Ah, no, I would have still All said right. Peter Jackson. Neil <laughs> Bloomkamp. Mr. Witt, we're back to you, and your category is Oscars. Oh, good. <laughs> no, different Jackson. guys that played the role of oh, Oscar. Oh, Oscar. Yeah, right. Yeah. Sylvester Stallone and then your script. <laughs> the Grouch. <laughs> Who won a Best Actress Oscar for her role in Dead Man Walking? Oh, jeez. You know. No. You do. Baby. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Like Look at the white uh, side encouraging who, the dark side. Who is Sarah Michelle Gellar? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is incorrect. We're looking for Susan Sarandon. Of course. Oh. I needed a steal there, man. Yeah. I needed a steal. <laughs> now we go to action adventure. Down on his luck, Detective Joe Hallenbeck teams up with troubled pro quarterback Jimmy Dix in what 1991 action film? Uh, 48 Hours. Oh, mm. I, I, last action hero. Oh, dude. Oh, looking no, for the last Boy Scout. The last Boy oh, Scout, I mean. The last, last Boy last Scout. Guy. We're going to have to dock imaginary points from Freddy. Sorry. <laughs> and now, Sam, the final category for you in round one is famous directors. Good. Who directed Caddyshack? Oh, God. I, geez. Oh, boy. John Landis? <laughs> so close. Guess, Great guess. answers. Harold Ramis. Oh, him or the other. Four. Egon. All right, All right so guys. now it goes Those back to Landis Freddy. I felt like Boom. there was going to be a Harold Ramis question right. on the show. Like, that was it. <laughs> he sensed it. Freddy, in the category of action adventure, oh, excuse me, category of Oscars, Jeff Bridges finally won a Best Actor Oscar for which film? Finally. You know, his dad's Lloyd Bridges. I'm going to go with The Big Lebowski. Close, we're looking for Crazy Heart. Oh, God. Crazy I Heart. Never, I was, country music I was, one? Yeah. Oh, God. I, I never saw them. I was going to say Dragon Heart, but that's not. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> not In the category of right. action adventure, which lethal weapon film featured a villain played by Jet Li? It's the fourth one. Correct. Yep. Freddie Vince Jr., Woo. another point. That was harder for me than I thought it would be. I was about to say three. <laughs> and for your last category in round one, famous directors, who is the first woman to win an Oscar for best director? Catherine Bigelow. Correct. Oh, Freddie right. Prince. Prince Jr. now. I believe it's Jr. four two. Oh. It is four to two right now in favor of Prince Jr. He really came on strong there at the end. His Jedi powers seem to awaken. It looks up, but never count out the dark side. Here is round two. Mark, tell him how it works. So what you gentlemen are about to see is a brilliantly orange suit. That is of Josh McCuga, who's bringing out the wheel 
of Doom and or Fortune on the wheel are 14 film categories. Each one of you will get one spin on the wheel. If you don't like the category that you spin, you are awarded a mulligan and you can spin again. However, Mullies. whatever category that lands on, you must answer four questions from that category. Each question is worth two points. However, if you don't know the answer, you can go to multiple choice, in which case the value of the question goes down to one point. Keep in mind, gentlemen, there is stealing in this round. All right, so Freddie, you are in the lead right now. Would you like to go first or second? Man, Mark, you explain these rules way better than I did when I was for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. You probably spin better than my dainty lad spin. Now, which is the one which is the one where it's gulag and they put a thing on your head and put you on the back of a donkey? <laughs> Those are the <laughs> yellow, green, the red, one. and blue yeah, ones. Yeah. <laughs> Freddie? Um, I will I will spin. Okay. Freddie's gonna spin. Looks like he's go ahead. Does do it, it stop automatically? It does give it a give it a good spin. There it is. That's yeah, an all right spin. Yeah, that was a Mark Ellis spin. Okay, let's go. We'll go. We're gonna go yeah, for a better. Break it. We're gonna go, so go, high give tech. It, let's do it again. Give it a good. Give it a good. All right, a good go. spin. All right, yep. strong. There you go. All right, there we go. There's the spin. It lands on. What it land on? Oh. This show's rigged. Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yo, oh, it that? landed on Star, Star Wars. Wars. Star Wars. That's my. Now, do you want to stay or do you want to spin again? Oh, come no, on, I do gotta it. Stay. I got to stay. All right. I do do yeah. not believe what my you eyes are telling like, me. this for wit were on that cuz he's like Britannica and I'm like Encarta. All you know, right. He's like this, old school. This There's is stealing, big. This is though, definitely right? there is we're stealing. strength. Oh, Christian, we could really stealing. see some fortunes turn here because if Freddy misses a question, Sam is right there to steal it. They both operate within the Star Wars universe. All right. So, All right. let me ask one question. Sure. If I don't ask for multiple choice and get it wrong, he can then steal a three-point answer? No, he can just steal two. He just cannot opt for multiple choice. Okay, got gotcha, If you don't gotcha, get gotcha. it, he don't get it. Right. All right, All right here we go. Freddy, <coughs> in The Force Awakens, what is the name of the First Order base? What's up with my kids? I don't even have a guess. Do you want to? I'll go multiple choice. Okay. I have to. Is it A, the Star Destroyer, the Sun Crusher, Star Killer, or the Dark Lighter? I'm going to go with the last one, whatever Dark that was. Is incorrect. <laughs> Star Killer base. Star Killer appropriate. The Star Killer got Star Killer. Really? Star Killer base. Dude, so one that's point. Oh, you yeah. see how the stars align? Dude, that was, Dude, that was tripped out right one there. One point for Sam there. All right, Sam. Oh, excuse me, Freddie. Who is the only actor to ever receive an Oscar nomination for a performance in a Star Wars film? for their performance in a film from the Star Correct. Wars franchise. <laughs> we don't include the Ewoks movies. No. Christ. Multiple choice, please. Is it A, Harrison Ford, B, Peter Cushing, C, Frank Oz, D, Alec Guinness? I want to say Alec Guinness. Five, four, three, all right, Alec Guinness. Correct, for one point. You, you see when he goes into Jedi long, mode, it's almost like he's taking a nap, but he's not. He's thinking about what the answer could be. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Freddie, who said this quote in A New Hope? Evacuate? In our moment of triumph? I think you overestimate their chances. That's our boy Mar Moff Tarkin, right? Two points for Freddie. Two points Whoa. for Freddie. He's doing very well in yep. a category that we expected him to come to play. <laughs> All right, Freddie, your last question in the category of Star Wars. Who was the top racer to beat in the pod race in The Phantom Menace? Oh, that little weasel guy. Oh. <laughs> oh I, multiple choice. I think I'll know it if I hear it. Is it A, Ahsoka, B, Greedo, C, Sebulba, D, Neenum? It's the third one, Sebulba. Correct for one yeah. point. Now this is pod racing. All right, there you go. <laughs> So that Freddy game was awesome, by the way. Star the Pod Wars Racer game gets I mean, out of there oh, dude, and only, was, with only one bad. steal. It is now eight to three. Sam did come away with a point there. Sam did get a steal, but now he needs a good spin in order to keep pace with right. Prince Jr. Oh, this is going to be bad. All right. Here's the spin. If it's 90s teen rom-coms, there's a fix. Right. Straight up. <laughs> what is this? 
Sports Spinner's movie. Choice? Spinner's Choice? You know what he's choosing. Spinner's oh, Choice. Anyway, Star Wars, guys. <laughs> Do you have any questions oh, left? Star Wars left? Do you? Oh, uh, no, we don't. There's two. Oh, oh, you, you can only get on the Spinner's Choice. It's only, you can only get the category Spinner. once. What the hell? <laughs> he's can playing only under pressure. <laughs> Wait, we do. I actually think we have. No, we do. You know what? We do have. We do. You oh, know you what? Do? We do. Oh, now wait. Now I protest. <laughs> now I protest. Oh, no, 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 no. What's happening? We do. New category. We do have. Uh, we do have Star Wars. God. We do have Star Wars. Do you want to pick Star Wars? Think to me. Okay. You know what he's yeah. picking. Sing to okay. me. All right. We're both go. playing under protest. All right. Fair enough. That's not the first time. All right. All right, Sam. Your first question in the Star Wars galaxy. Who voiced Star Killer? <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the clone captain in Star Wars: The Clone Wars? Yes, it did have a theatrical release in 2008. Captain Rex. Two points for Sam Witwer. Yeah, Look out, world. Sam, Very your next good. question is in A New Hope. What kind of ship did the Rebel officer? Let me read the question to myself, yeah. and then yeah. repeat aloud. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sam, in A New Hope, also known as Episode 4, what kind of ship did the rebel officer tell Darth Vader that they were on while he was being choked? This is a consular ship. We're on a diplomatic mission. Two more points wow. for Sam Whitworth. Bonus for the whole line. <laughs> I don't believe what we're seeing here. Uh, your next question, who played Queen Amidala's decoy in The Phantom Menace? Kira Knightley. Wow. Two more points for Whitwer. I believe it's Kira Knightley. 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 <laughs> so we're clear. Your last question, why was Jar Jar Binks banished from Gungan City? Because he was clumsy. Wow, two more points. That and he huge. sweeps the board. Now, there is new Star information Wars when Luke Star asks Yoda Wars which thing. side is stronger, the light or the dark. I think we might have just gotten our answer. What's so funny is everyone was asking if this was going to be a Star Wars battle. Like, no, straight up movie trivia, and it turned out to be a Star Wars battle after all. But look, it's 11 to 8 going in to the final round. Mark, tell them how it works. Please. Still could be anybody's game. Whitwer holding on to a narrow three point lead after a great round two. In round three, you guys will each get three questions. They have a different point value. Your first question is worth one point. Your next question is is worth three, and the last question is worth five points. There's no Damn. stealing from your opponent. There's no multiple choice. You know it or you don't. What we need from you guys right now is three numbers from one to 23. And Sam, because you are in the lead, you pick first. 21. Yep. Two more. 15. Yep. Last one. Four. Four. 21, 15, and four. Freddy, you're up. I will go eight. Nine and nineteen. Eight, nine, good nine. choice. <laughs> good <laughs> choice. Strongly choice. Yes, right. yes, Eight, I feel nine, good about 19. those numbers. Nine and nineteen. You All like that right. question, don't you? You like nineteen. Right. What's happening? Uh, what yeah. is Eight, nine, happening? and nineteen. <laughs> so those are his. Yeah. Sam's. Yeah. All right. When I don't know what's going on, okay. I talk. All right, a here lot. we go. <laughs> yeah, Freddie, you're up first for your one pointer. Who's first? You are, Freddy. Oh. With your one pointer in the category of action adventure. Freddy, who played the love interest of Bruce Willis's character in the 1993 action flick Striking Distance? What the hell? <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker. Correct! Oh, wow! Dude, Freddy hits it. The one point. That is a good point. Wow. Wow. Right, Freddy, you want to go back? No, Freddy. No, Freddy go, Freddy's got to hit his three to get in the lead. Poster Freddy, to you. you are on a roll, and now we move on to a fella's category. You may have heard of Tom Hanks. Who? Tom Hanks. Which Tom Hanks film? Oh, he birthed Colin Hanks. Yeah, I got has him say, <laughs> Which Tom Hanks film has the quote, every now and again, not often, but occasionally, you get to be a part of justice being done that really is quite a thrill when that happens. The one on the boat, um, Captain someone, Captain Clink. I don't know. 
It is not Captain Clink. We were looking for Philadelphia. Oh, Philadelphia. Oh, so it comes down to this because Freddie oh, still needs to hit the, the five pointer. He has to hit this or Sam wins the game. Oh, Freddie, your category is Oscar winners. Okay. To stay alive, you need to answer this question correctly. For five points, name a film that has won Ang Lee a Best Director Oscar. I don't think Brokeback won. I'm going to say it's probably just because I love kung fu movies, but I'm going to say Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. And your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Sam the Warrior! It's the one with Renee Zellweger. We would have taken either Life of Pi or Brokeback Mountain. Didn't oh, I say Brokeback Mountain? You said, you said it's not Brokeback Mountain. You didn't, you didn't choose it. Oh, oh and I went to the Kung Fu movie because yeah. I like her. Well, there you go. It looked like that right there. Then and there, Freddie had it. And then Sam, because he had such a strong second round, takes the victory. Clearly, Christian, the force was strong with both of these competitors. But the dark side won out. There's a reason why you love the evil people so much. They're damn good at movie trivia. <laughs> well, we get to hear from both Sam and Freddie. They're talking with Josh McCougar right now. All right, Schmodown movie trivia fans, we're here with Today's uh, special matchup victor, Sam Witwer, the warrior. Uh, dude, you crushed it. Congratulations. How would you feel about the match? I know why you felt that was necessary. To, to do what? Make us fight. We're friends. Let's... It, it was more of a friendly movie trip. We're not friends. Okay? okay? You want to do that again? Face me and Freddy. Okay? Both of us together. You choose whoever you want. I'm tired of this. Uh, you got it, man. I'll pick my opponent. <laughs> we'll come in guns blazing. I didn't even... I don't like your tones. Watch your tones. My tones are always... They're like tone loke, right in there. Funky cone. Don't be smart. Tone loke. No. Uh, who, who would you like me to pair up with? Do you have a, a choice? Campia. I want you, Campia. You're going down. Do you understand me, Campia? Are you listening to me? Can you hear me, Campia? Because it's happening. It's happening. And there you have it. <laughs> Allow me, because I know you know your Star Wars stuff. I apologize. Um, he does not know Star Wars, so you'd be picking on somebody. And if you want to bully somebody, I'm going to let you bully. There's two people I'll put you up against. Who's that? John Campio, who you requested. Right. And Ken Knapsack. I do not think you have a chance. Sam, I like you. You know I like you, but you don't stand a chance. Knapsack? Is that his name? Correct. Knapsack. Is that his name? It's already starting here, folks. You're going to have Sam and Freddy versus Campia and Ken? You made me hurt my friend. That was pretty brutal. It's not going to happen again. Thank you so much for joining us. You do. You are pretty intimidating. All right, Schmodown fans, uh, we're here with Freddie Prince Jr. He unfortunately was beat today by his friend, apparently the madman that is Sam the Warrior Witwer. Uh, he made me pee my pants a little bit just there. He went he went full heel on me, and, right. he, and he teamed up with you. You guys are going to take on Kenny Knapsack and John Campia in a Star Wars trivia team match. How are you feeling about this? I feel fine. Uh, you guys saw Sam with Star Wars. You're freaking dead. <laughs> like, it's not going to be close. And the peepee -pee will improve the color of the suit, oh, yeah. just so we're clear. Thanks, thanks. Uh, the orange. like a magnolia, but smells slightly worse. Thanks, I appreciate that. Did you have fun in your match? I think, uh, you know, Schmoville and Collider, everybody's been psyched about this match. You guys put on a great one. You both got Star Wars totally not fixed. We promise you that. Oh, no, we are both we both are playing under protest. That is BS. You should not get to do the same category twice. Had it been a different category, nah, -uh. Y'all did it on purpose to turn us against each other because you don't want us to team up and whip your all's ass on a tag team. That's why the, uh, the the wheel was spun like it was, so that the team match could be set up here uh, soon. I think the fans want to see it sooner rather than later, and you'll just ride that, that Whitwer warrior wave in, because the man, he's legit scary. Oh, yeah, I'll just come in and crack some jokes, and then when you guys ask questions, I'll just look at Sam, and he'll be like, oh, I already answered it. We're done. We're good. He'll be like, he'll be like Bill Murray in Groundhog Day, where he's like, what is the roan? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just the way it goes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Guys, Freddie Prince Jr., uh, Freddie, thanks so much for no, coming on the show. Pleasure, a lot of fun. As a lot of fans out there know, Summer Catch is one of my favorite movies. So this is a real treat for me. Back to you and Christian and Mark. Beal and not me. <laughs> no, big fan of Freddie. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Obviously, both really good friends, Ooh. really gracious in both defeat and winning. I mean, that was that was a lot of fun to watch. It's great to see sportsmanship again in the schmodown, you know? Yeah. With all the uh, all the Makugas Humble and the JTEs Blue. and the Finstocks flying around here, it's nice to see two classy, A-grade individuals get a good game in the schmodown. We could not be happier that Freddie and Sam donated their time here today to play. And remember, y'all can check out Season 3 of Rebels when it premieres very soon. This Saturday, September 24th, make sure you check it out on Disney XD season three. If you're not watching Rebels, then you should be. It is an incredible show. These two guys crush it. Watch it. Make sure you check it out and check out this Friday. Our tournament continues. The wild man, Josh McCuga, tries to continue that crazy luck going up against classy Clark Wolf. Mark, unbelievable day today. Really happy these guys were able to join us. Great stuff. The Schmodown is in full swing. That is Christian Harloff. My name is Mark Ellis. Thank you guys for tuning in to Collider Video. We gotta go because we're going across the street to hang out with Freddie and Sam, right? Right. I know they left a little. Yeah, I think they're gone. Yeah. You die. You don't die. Oh! <laughs> See, if you opened it up and you had a pad, then we could do it. That'd be the money. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.